Okay, in this question, we want to determine if the series converges or diverges, and if it converges, state the limit. So we have 5 minus 25 divided by 6 plus 125 divided by 36 minus 625 divided by 216, and the pattern continues. And so right away, one thing I notice is that each term is being multiplied by negative 5, 6 of the previous term. So 5 times negative 5, 6 is negative 25 divided by 6, that times negative 5, 6 would be 125 divided by 36. So we know it's a geometric series. And so we can actually solve this question in two ways. And so we'll first do this method. So we do summation. We can hit a cal uh, menu, calculus, sum. Um, n would approach uh, 0 in our case. And we have it continuing. So we can go infinity. and the a value is the first term, so 5, and the r value is the rate. So each term is being multiplied by negative 5, 6. So we do negative 5, 6, and rate of n, like this. Hit, en hit enter, and this is one answer. And now we do the second way of doing it, which will get the same answer. So we'll have calculus limit, n is going to approach infinity. And we have a, a we said it was 5, divided by 1 minus r. And r is negative 5, 6. And there's your answer. When we solve this question by hand, we choose this method because it would be very hard to like sum each term up. But choosing a limit would be much easier when we solve by hand. But using the TI, there's really no difference. We can, sol we can solve it this method or this. And that's all we need to do.